What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel this is Arrow OS latest version 11.0 which is based on Android version 11 and I have installed it on my Mia Tool device which is Redmi Note 9 Pro you can install this on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max Redmi Note 9 S Poco M2 Pro and also I try to provide the link for all the devices which are supported for Arrow OS like Redmi Note 5 Pro is also supported for Arrow OS Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 7 Pro I try to provide link for all of the, these devices in the description so you can go and download the download the file for your device and you can install this build i'm going to share with you that which are the things you get in this arrow os latest latest version which is based on android version 11 and a lot more things so make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started Hey guys, this is Arrow OS latest version and if you talk about the default launcher, it does not come with the Google Apps pre-installed. So yes, it has the Google Apps pre-installed. By the way, it has two builds. For some devices, it might be available as only vanilla build like without Google Apps or the second one which with, with Google Apps. It has the Google Apps pre-installed right now. In my case, I've installed the Google Apps build, but still we didn't got the Pixel launcher or the Pixel Apps pre-installed. Only have the Google Play Store and Google Services Framework were pre-installed but you don't get the pixel launcher we have the quick step launcher which has a little bit of things available so yes some features are missing like only have the screenshot option available here no select all and these kind of features are available and honestly I was expecting these kind of things should be present there because that looks better than this one but still it's also kind of interesting thing because you have to customize everything on your own and yes if you want to install Google pixel launcher on your device running Android 11 I have a video on that you can go and check it out if you want to moving on to some quick settings which you get here everything layout is almost everything kind of the same thing which we have we have these kind of things the colors you can change like in my case I've also changed these kind of colors to red or also you can customize a lot of things we have other tiles options are available to like the screen record peak notifications hotspot etc everything is fine here in my case I didn't got any issues at all if you turn on the hotspot you can see the Wi-Fi hotspot both at the same time are turning on so there are no issues in my case so these are some cool kind of features which I just wanted to share with you let's move on to some things which you get in this latest Android 11 first of all if you talk about some device specific things you can see there's a Dolby option available the motor Dolby is present in Mia Tool devices like Redmi Note 9 Pro Redmi Note 9 S Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro if you're using one of these devices you will see these kind of things and this is almost same kind of thing for you but if you're using any other device might be some little bit of differences here and there but almost everything is fine here talking about the magisk manager in my case i'm using the latest magisk v21.0 and i have no issues here at all but the thing is if you want to check out the safety net status if you are using me at all device the safety net status will not pass in my case it's not passing maybe your case might be different one but right now in my case safety net is not passing at all i'm using this latest magisk v21.0 which is now officially supported for android 11 based devices and if you have also device which uh, which, which you uh, magic v21.0 is perfectly fine just go and install this or if it is not working for you you can use the modded one also i have a video on that one too so you can go and check it out Talking about some little bit things which you get in settings here. This is Arrow OS and if you have used the Arrow OS version and which, which is based on Android version 10, you already know that which are the things you get in Arrow OS custom room. We don't get any customizations features by the way we have the buttons, gestures, a little bit of things here and there but not extra many customizations and the same with it is in Android 11. Network and internet connected devices, apps and notifications have almost all Android 11 features are present here talking about the battery backup in my case i am fully satisfied with the battery backup at all so no issues for me in the terms of battery backup no battery extra drainage and overall is the fast charging is also perfectly fine here i am using the fast charging and i didn't got issues there also Moving on to the display, we have the dark theme, night light, and if you go to the styles and wallpapers, fortunately, we have the styles and wallpapers available, which is perfectly fine. 
pixel launcher is not installed but yes with a default and a custom you can also create your own custom theme if you want to we have the oneplus slate fonts options available too and as you can see i've applied these kind of things also you can apply other things like these icons which you can change if you want to you can choose the colors there are a lot of things out there which you can do so this is kind of interesting thing you can theme your os if you want to screen time on colors and little bit of things here and there which you can see sound storage privacy location etc are available in secure security we have the fingerprint option but no face lock and no app lock available till now but yes we can wait for other updates might we will get very very soon accessibility buttons have a little bit of things like the advanced restart which is one of interesting things out there power menu actions which you can do let me show you which other things you get here if you hold on you will see the device controls options available we have the power screenshots screen record settings a lot more things which you can see you can simply add these controls if you want to so if you want to choose the cat controls we can choose these controls like as you can see water bubble and tap to refill these kind of things which you can add if we want to so let's try to add these kind of things click on save and now as you can see it's done so if you want to swipe these kind of things we can swipe and this looks very interesting some cool kind of features which you get in android version 11 and this looks better by the way seriously buttons i already shown you gestures have little bit of things available you won't if you are seeing this i don't have any pill here i have a magic module for that you can go and check it out so that's why i don't get that pill option available here other things are kind of the same like the xiaomi parts which were present there sometimes it will give you force close but yes it's little bit giving me force closes right now maybe i have used any modes that's why but the specific thing device specific things might be here and there everything else is fine here these were the things i just want to share with you regarding this latest arrow os version 11 if you also want to use this build the link for this build is in the description go and install this right now if you don't know how to install you can watch my lineage os 18 installation video so that is also simple and same kind of thing this was all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye